something that takes my breath away really to be honest that's how passionate I am about it like this chassis was the first one that I ever customized and that really made me love this hobby so much um I built it in uh memory of my grandfather I call him pops a lot um he also bought me my first truck, which was an OBS Chevy. Well, I thought he bought it for me, but he actually bought it for himself. He, uh, he really liked Corvettes and GM and all that stuff. And he had found the truck previously, but on, on a Christmas day, cause we, we always spent Christmas at his house, Christmas day. Uh, he, he knew that I was down on my luck and really needed, uh, pick me up. So he, mentioned that he was out and he spotted a truck that looked like it was in good shape for a reasonable price. Unbeknownst to me, it was a Z71 uh, OBS Chevy. It was in great condition, no rust, anything like that. And uh, he was actually very excited about it. So I thought that was kind of weird. But it turned out like uh, after he bought it, uh, he gave me the keys and whatnot and uh, kind of told me if I ever need it, I'll let you know. So the time came where he he did have an excuse to come and ask me to borrow it. And uh, he handed me the keys to his trailblazer and I was kind of, I don't know. I didn't think that he could drive a manual, but like the older guys like that, they don't really talk about stuff like that. Like he... Well, I guess they do. He did tell me they had a, a couple cars that were manual, but I didn't think hit, at his age that he would be into driving something like that, even though his dream car was like a 50s Corvette, white with red interior, like we had always talked about in the basement and the garage. Like, he was always working with his hands. Um, He taught me how to work with my hands. Not only to work with my hands, but to, like, wrench for a hobby, not just money or or stuff like that like a lot of times I donate my time to helping others that don't know how to like work on stuff like this lawn mowers any kind of small motor but I used to uh anytime I would get an RC car I usually uh keep to myself with it but like if I customized it I'd be real excited to tell him about it which uh he really liked he, uh, I could always tell he would smile, and he, 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 uh, he took my picture with the T-Max because I was smiling. It was the first car I had ever, uh, customized, and, uh, I always wondered why 
he would spend so much time taking pictures and I just recently realized it was because in those pictures we were smiling and uh, he always taught me that like money wasn't really as valuable as people think um, the real value comes from like memories or times that you smiled and those pictures that he took were tangible basically times that we were happy and we were all together um those are where the real value in life is and I kind of built this truck around that idea like I, I used a lot of parts that were in my parts boxes and a motor that came out of this this truck here so it was just something that was already laying around I had all the the springs and stuff from slashes and all kinds of other like two-wheel drive cheap vehicles just cheap knockoff or not knockoff parts but just cheap Traxxas parts laying around uh the only things i really bought was the pipe uh the for forward only conversion the body some cheap hubs uh that's it. That's literally it. All the rest was just like stuff that I had laying around. Oh, I, yeah, I bought the thing under underneath here, or the uh, plastics for this chassis, because the ones that were included from the guy I bought the, the uh, chassis from were, they were missing. But uh, yeah, I bought, bought and painted this body, and for some reason it came with the sticker that says, uh, tribute wheels on it and it very accurately resembles my OBS Z71 uh, except for it doesn't have the Z71 badge it was a 95 and uh, man I had a lot of good memories in that truck a lot of a lot of times smiling fishing camping going to my grandpa's trailer like he had a vacation home out in South, or yeah, South Bend, Indiana, kind of like uh, the New Carlisle area. But yeah, this this is basically the truck that he he had bought, and uh, he he loved the thing too. He would smile whenever he was in it. Um. I, yeah, I purchased. This is what I was talking about for the chassis, the plastics. It's a little dirty right now because I was out running it earlier. This truck is definitely. Uh, power monster like it it's the coolest monster truck that I own hands down like well yeah for the power to weight ratio and ever and the size and whatnot but uh getting back to what I was saying all all of the parts except for this pipe which I was lucky enough to find on eBay for forty dollars I think I have total invested into this not counting what I already had just laying in the bins and uh, the motor that was out of this build here because I, I, I put a big block into this. I have about maybe $100 into it because the servos also came out of that. I switched to a single servo on that one. But uh, yeah, it's a, as far as the hobby grade RC cars go, I'd say this is literally the most bang for your buck, especially be, if you know how to build um, and what parts go together to make an operating vehicle. I don't, however, have a working set of brakes on here right now. Uh, that's kind of another thing that will be discussed later on, but yeah. Oh, and I bought the RPM bumper. That was it. Uh, other than that, this is just all parts that were laying around. I got a hundred bucks into it, and I, I used the uh, Fly Sky with GTS threes. Uh, but I still remember the exact minute of him taking my picture in the garage. I was holding the truck up. I want to say probably something like this with a big smile on my face, and he took it or took my picture with his iPhone. And I mean, I. I, I I was so, uh, I don't know, caught up in the moment. I, I didn't realize, like, what what him taking those pictures really was. And I'm sure that he well, held those pictures dear to his heart. He was a really good man. He helped a lot of people. Like, I remember being younger and, like, watching him 
change a person's tire without expecting anything in return. He would mow people's grass around the neighborhood, even at like 60, 70 years old. He was like a a real American hero. Like he he spent most of his time helping those that were less fortunate financially and physically. Like, I don't know if there was, uh, as a kid, he literally, I thought he was Superman. It's, it's wild. So it was, it was really hard to lose him. Um, and with the skills that he gave me, I tried to build a piece of art that I could remember him by kind of, as well as use and have fun with and make memories with my son and make happy memories for myself. Cause I love building and I love driving these things. Uh, I do build, uh, cars for other people. Um, that's where I get a lot of the parts and stuff that I have sitting around here, like these engines and whatnot. I, I got this in a tote. It was just straight parts. This is the only full truck that, uh, I, I purchased running. All the rest were like, uh, what, what do you call it? Uh, I got sliders or uh, rollers, cause, and then I, I would use motors and stuff that I unseized, or like this one was actually in here when I bought it. This one didn't have any of the upgrades or anything. I put all those into it, but it's a pretty common vehicle, so the parts are more, they were missing. But uh, yeah, I bought, bought and painted this body, and for some reason it came with the sticker that says, uh, tribute wheels on it and it very accurately resembles my OBS Z71 uh, except for it doesn't have the Z71 badge it was a 95 and uh, man I had a lot of good memories in that truck a lot of a lot of times smiling fishing camping going to my grandpa's trailer like, he had a vacation home out in South, or yeah, South Bend, Indiana, kind of like, uh, the New Carlisle area. But yeah, this, this is basically the truck that he, he had bought, and, uh, he, he loved the thing, too. He would smile whenever he was in it. Um, I, yeah, I purchased, this is what I was talking about for the chassis, the plastics. It's a little dirty right now, because I was out running it earlier. This truck is definitely... Uh, power monster like it it's the coolest monster truck that I own hands down like well yeah for the power to weight ratio and ever and the size and whatnot but uh getting back to what I was saying all all of the parts except for this pipe which I was lucky enough to find on eBay for forty dollars I think I have total invested into this not counting what I already had just laying in the bins and uh, the motor that was out of this build here because I, I, I put a big block into this. I have about maybe $100 into it because the servos also came out of that. I switched to a single servo on that one. But uh, yeah, it's a, as far as the hobby grade RC cars go, I'd say this is literally the most bang for your buck, especially if you know how to build um, and what parts go together to make an operating vehicle. I don't, however, have a working set of brakes on here right now. Uh, that's kind of another thing that will be discussed later on, but yeah. Oh, and I bought the RPM bumper. That was it. Uh, other than that, this is just all parts that were laying around. I got a hundred bucks into it, and I, I used the uh, Fly Sky with GTS threes. Uh, but I still remember the exact minute of him taking my picture in the garage. I was holding the truck up. I want to say probably something like this with a big smile on my face, and he took it or took my picture with his iPhone. And I mean, I. I, I I was so, uh, I don't know, caught up in the moment. I, I didn't realize, like, what what him taking those pictures really was. And I'm sure that he well, held those pictures dear to his heart. He was a really good man. He helped a lot of people. Like, I remember being younger and, like, watching him change a person's tire without 
expecting anything in return. He would mow people's grass around the neighborhood, even at like 60, 70 years old. He was like a a real American hero. Like he he spent most of his time helping those that were less fortunate financially and physically. Like I don't know if there was uh, as a kid he literally I thought he was Superman. It's it's wild. So it was it was really hard to lose him. Um and with the skills that he gave me, I tried to build a piece of art that I could remember him by kind of as well as use and have fun with and make memories with my son and make happy memories for myself because I love building and I love driving these things. Uh, I do build uh, cars for other people. Um, that's where I get a lot of the parts and stuff that I have sitting around here like these engines and whatnot. I I got this in a tote. It was just straight parts. This is the only full truck that uh, I I purchased running. All the rest were like uh, what what do you call it? Uh, I got sliders or uh, rollers. Cause and then I I would use motors and stuff that I unseize. Or like this one was actually in here when I bought it. This one didn't have any of the upgrades or anything. I put all those into it, but it's a pretty common vehicle, so the parts are really cheap for it. And uh, I've got a little goodie bin down here. It's got all my pipes and whatnot in it. Just to kind of give an idea on, on, on what I usually have sitting around. You can see these are all more of the vintage big blocks, which I was going to put in here, but I figured since I had the motor and stuff, it fit the build better. Like it, it's just the more cheaper brand name parts. And I got super lucky to find this pipe because it, it really, uh, I don't know. This is, it's, like I said, it's a, it's more of a sleeper build, so like from the outside, it looks like a stock T-Max, and I, t I tinted the windows and uh, painted the body and whatnot to look kind of average, but like I said, it's a tribute, so I, I painted the body gold instead of the GM color code. Uh,